and now the winner of this racer, Key. Hey, what's up guys? Flurpolder here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Skybounds video. Now, today we have something special planned, sort of, I mean, the big idea of today is I'm going to be announcing the winner of the Racer C kit. If you didn't see that video, I it was like my episode 50, I announced that I was going to give this away, as well as had an opening and did something else. You should go check that video out, and the rest of the Skybound series if you haven't already. Before we get into what we're doing, or get into that, we have some things we're going to open, I'm going to save those for a bit. And uh, we're going to open these things and then do a little bit more before I actually, you know, announce it. It will be at the end of the video at some point, so stick around for that. Challenge XP, honestly, I'm going to need that when I prestige eventually, which is in the work. It's um, pretty far away, I'm not going to lie. We almost have our normal challenges done, and then we have our hard and expert challenges. And that's going to be... It's gonna be interesting. We'll get into that. We'll we'll definitely get there eventually. But I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying this series. If you have and you enjoyed this, remember to smash a like on it. And uh, yeah, let's just you know open some things. We got a golden luck recipe. I don't know if this is easy to make or not. If it's worth it or not. I know buying them's worth it because I can get like a mill worth. Like literally, I got three of these, I believe from one luck potion, golden luck potion. So that's like a mil, maybe 500, let's say about 200k per, and I bought it for less than that. Let me actually see. Um, 10 gold blocks, one warzone crate, one pot of gold, one golden pickaxe. I don't know, the warzone crate itself is worth a lot, so is the pot of gold. I don't know if it's actually worth it. I guess if you get lucky and you get three and one, Possibly. Let's open up another one of these. Maybe we'll just get a straight up gold luck potion or something that's worth it. You never know. And we're gonna get Prospector 3. Nope. Man, I was hoping for the Prospector 3. I'm not gonna lie. I was really hoping for that. What do we get? Come on. Prospector 2. Come on. Come on. Let's just... Yeah, Prospector 2. I think we cheated it. I'm not sure. It might have stopped there, to be honest. I did see a Golden Luck coming up as well, though. Ooh, Leprechaun Brew would be nice. Don't give me a recipe. Just give me the... Well, alright, cool. I guess we got some things. Let's go ahead and open up the Buried Treasure and see what we get. And uh, I think I'll go ahead and use these next. And then we'll open up our beautiful Warzone crates and our Wars... Or, and our uh, Spawner Spinner. See what we get. We got... I mean, not bad, I'll take it, that's some profit. Now to alchemize all of these shards, I bought like 11 or so of these off the auction house for a mill. They used to go for a mill a piece, so I'm gonna actually do these first, because apparently these aren't aren't really that good. Yeah, it's kind of just whatever. We're about to get a lot of dust though, which is insane. If it'll work. Alright, well that one kind of ripped us. You just, you just do the thing that I need you to do. Can you just, there we go. Work with me here, Skybounds. I just want to alchemize a lot of shards. I mean, we're getting a lot of um, normal arcane dust, which I can't complain too much about. I'd prefer to get, I don't know, an immortal shard or some greater arcane dust. That would be good too, but nope. We just got a lot of dust. Let's go with the Warzone crates. Hopefully we can get something good from this. I mean, maybe, I don't know. What are we gonna get? Let's just, because I don't think I was gonna get anything good from that anyways. I actually don't have room for all of my loot. Dang, feels bad. I actually gotta go store some of this stuff after a couple of these spins. I'll take it, whatever. And for the final spin, what do we get? Oh boy, TNT. And now to open more Warzone crates. The thing that I wanted to do the most out of everything. Just open stuff. That's all I want to do with my life. Gold blocks. Got a bow. Zappy gun. I, I mean, I'll take that. 
I can disenchant that, um, or blacksmith, and I want to blacksmith some gear soon, because I have a lot of gear that I can just blacksmith up. Please, no. Let's open up another one. Come on. We can do better than that. I believe in you, Warzone Crates. You can give me that epic loot you've just got lying around. Sword. What did we get? 25k stars. Another Warzone Crate. We actually got the other Warzone Crate. Hell yeah. We got Obsidian. We got Glass. We got 25k stars that I'm going to use. And Oh boy, Pratsu. I also realized I need to use a lot of my gear to charge that boss egg I have. Or I could just sell it all. Well, I bought it, so what's the point in selling it again? Whoops, didn't mean to do that to be honest, but that's what happened. Alright, well, now our official last Warzone crate. Let's see what we get. Honestly, I don't know what I really want from this. Anything but that would have been great. But okay, cool, you know, I mean, whatever. Or the flight? No. Holy crap, a bunch of enchant XP. 50,000, alright, I'll take that. Immortal Stone Dust. All right, well, I guess it's time for the spawner spinner. Hopefully, we can get something good. I'm going to try and do the exit out strategy for this if it, you know, doesn't look like it's going to be anything too good. All right, we're going to just... Sheep. Okay. It scared me because it, like, broke for a second. <laughs> can I get a blaze? Maybe. 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 Oh, another sheep. You were one off. Oh, my. There's an enderman. Can I... I don't even want to look, honestly. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. What do we get? Really? That's it? We, we just... That's what's saying. We, we got three sheep spawners. I'm not going to bother. I have enough sheep spawners. I'm just going to throw these in this chest right here for now because I just can't be bothered with them. I'm going to forget about them. I'm 100% calling it. I'm not going to come back for those. And then what we're doing today, we're going to be doing some fishing, a little bit of it, just to kind of uh, get some challenges done. But I do have, because if you see, first of all, I have a challenge I'm working towards, and I think I can knock it out of the way. 10,000 rod experience. That is, I'm not going to finish that, I'm going to tell you that. But I do have other things planned with this. And all of these all item XP boosters you see here. We now have like a times 43 booster, if I remember from last night. Um, and I want to go ahead and throw it on this to max out this vampire set. Throw some of these on here. So let me do um, uh, split XP. I will go for 10,000. You know what? Yeah, 10,000. That sounds like a good idea. Totally. Let's start out on there. Only level 13? Really? I. Oh, yeah, I forgot to actually do the boosters. You know, I'm dumb sometimes. It's great. 5,000. Let's try the 5,000 one on it now. Okay, we'll go to the beach. We'll, sh we'll, uh, we'll fish a little bit. Let's see how much this will do. 43, like I said, 43 times on every item. Gonna max out this set to make it a beautiful god set. And uh, also gonna max out this rod. Well, maybe not this rod, but I will get this rod up a bit. After this one, I'll go ahead and take off. I think I'll go 2,500 and see if that can max out anything on here. Because I want to save as much of this as I can because I do have another set that I'm working on. I think two other sets I'm actually working on. Plus, just having item XP in general would be, be nice to have just lying around, you know? There we go. We got a lot of XP. So it is level two. Split XP 2,500. Let's drop that on the... We'll go with the leggings. Almost. Almost, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and keep splitting uh, 2,500. And then I'll figure out how much I need to actually max these out afterwards so I can save as much of this XP as I can but I might as well work on this to be honest I'm gonna go ahead and actually use this rod because it doesn't look like it's gonna instantly max this to 10 I am trying to get this close to 10 and then I'm going to get it to 10 for one of the challenges that I have we'll throw that on the helmet oh almost there as well so let me uh, just 
throw down another rod. Not getting much experience, but I mean, it is working towards that uh, beautiful, beautiful level 10 goal. And I think eventually level 11, I want to max it out. And I think I do want to sit here and fish for a bit, because if you see in this, they added the immortal boosters to this. So it's not just from your uh, reward crates, you can also get it from fishing. So I guess that's for like the average player. You can just come out here, fish a little bit. All right, so I think I found the amount of XP that I want to throw on this. I want to do like 300 XP. So can I do the command yet? I don't know. Split XP 300. That should be enough to max this out. Perfect. I think that's the minimum amount I can do, which means I'm saving a lot of X, maybe not a lot of XP. I mean, essentially, it's a lot of XP. I'm saving, like, maybe about 5,000, which doesn't seem like much. It's a pretty small amount, given how much I actually used and actually had at the beginning of this. When you think about it, right, 5,000 XP. As you can see, 300 XP can turn into, what is it, 1,200, basically. So... 5,000 can be a lot more than the, than it, what it's worth right now. So we'll finish this up, and then I will be announcing the giveaway winner. As well, I need to pick someone for the fan wall, so I will do that first. Just a little bit more fishing to to bear through. Two more seconds of it, and I'm not even gonna be, I'm not even gonna bother casting my rod out. There's no point. So let's throw this on the boots. There it is, maxed out vampire set, 5,900 experience to save. Let me get everything set up real quick and um. Yeah, wait, do I have a cape? When did I get a cape? When did this happen? Who did it? Which one of you out there? I know you're watching this video, probably. Actually, you might not be. I could just be screaming at myself. I'm more than likely. Actually, I 100% am screaming at myself, but... Like, actually, though, thank you for whoever actually did get me this cape, though. I don't... I don't know who did it, and I don't know which... Because I know there's Optifine cape, and I know there's Five Zig cape, so I don't know which one it is. I'm gonna go ahead, get the two videos I need pulled up, the comment picker thingy, and I will see you guys when we are ready to pick a winner of the giveaway and a person to add to the fan wall. All right, guys, so we have the thing pulled up. The person being added to the wall. Have you not been added yet? Let me see. I don't believe so. Oh my god, you haven't. Guess who's being added to the wall, guys? It is the one, the only, the X Twilight Mist X. Good job, you're on the wall. And uh, she's the one that gave me a beautiful gift here, which sadly wasn't shown in a video, but it, I mean it was, but it wasn't, you know, it's a whole thing. It's very disappointing, but thank you for uh, sticking around in the series and stuff like that, Twilight. And now the winner of this racer key. Here's one, there we go. Hi, my favorite episode was 49. It was funny uh, waiting you. Every episode is my favorite. There we go. IGN is Oreo Stars. Oreo Stars, if you see me on, hop on anytime. I'll try and be on as, as often as I can. Just hop on every now and then um, and see if I'm on. If I'm on, message me for it. I will give you this C kit. You just gotta invite me to your island when you get on as well. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, remember to smash that like button, subscribe to become a part of the Flurp fam, and I will see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.